Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what's up everybody? We're back here again in our tutorial world about to do another build today. Oh man, I can't wait. I've never built this build this style exactly like this ever in my life and I can't wait to build it with you guys. It's going to be so much fun. But if you guys want to check out any of the previous builds we have behind us, we always got links in the description. Go check it out. A bunch of amazingness down that row. And also, we're using our boy Germs and Boys Texture Pack. It's my favorite vanilla pack. So if you want to download it, it's also in the description. And then go, go have fun. But today, we're building a little Asian market. And it's so cool. I love it. I fell in love with this build. I want to do some more of this style. But this is super cool. Let's go take a trip down to Asia's. And let's check it out. Check it out. Right here. Right, ready? Okay. One, two, three. BAM! <laughs> Look how cool! Look at this little market! This is so, so cool! It, this you can plop it in like a, almost even like a, a modern day city, uh, uh, Asian style market. You're just going in, you wanna buy something. I don't know what they sell in there, but whatever, you can sell anything you want. Uh, and I'll show you how we build this. It's super, super cool, and it's super easy too. Let me show you. Let me, let's get some dimensions out. So, right here you see, this is the, the actual build, just this part. Out here is just like a little outdoor walkway. You can see it's like a little uh, sidewalk area and a little way to get in. So that's how, uh, just you can see it perfect. I left the grass there so it, it doesn't get blended in too much with the gravel. But there it is, okay? Now, I'm going to show you what we're building with. We're going to be using some polished andesite for our little borders. We're going to be using some stone. Got some brick stairs, got some brick slabs, copper wall, some uh, spruce wood planks, some spruce trap. Oh, this is the spruce trap door from 113, but we're on 112, whatever. Germs pack is amazing. Uh, we, he, he has it like that. And then we're bringing birch, baby. We're bringing some birch. It's okay. D don't worry about it. And this is also a birch flooring uh, right here, but don't worry about it. This is Asian inspired, so it's okay to use birch now. Okay, but just not the logs. Never the logs. Okay. Now, <laughs> this is the dimensions we're going with. And we're going to start out with the polished andesite. And it's super simple. All this is, if you count it out, let's count it out right here from this corner. Okay, this is a one, two, three four five six seven so a seven by one two three skip that for the door so that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's all it is it's a seven by eleven so one more one two three four five six seven and then by eleven just and then also do this just wrap wrap a box around so that's your uh base uh outline right there's your foundation mm -hmm. look how pretty I love that. So now, all we're going to have to do now is go on the corners. This is right here in this corner. Let's go up. Okay, from this is one. This is two, three, four. Okay, do a four. Let me see. And a, a four. That's fine. <laughs> and then come over here and go one, two, three, four. Oh, four. Okay, now go on this corner. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. And over here, one, two, three, four. Well, technically, that's that was that was four. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we have a four right there. Actually, you know what? Let me make sure here. Hold on. Let's, let's go. Okay, let's do one more. <laughs> let's go technically five because now we're not going to really see this part. It's going to be covered up by the brick lining that you see going down like that. And now do this. Really simple. Just do a box. Just do a box. So it's a five high box. <laughs> and it's gonna look nice, trust me, I promise. Uh, except for, actually, don't do this box. Take this part out. We're just gonna do the box part on this side. <laughs> and now, from here, perfect, we're gonna go up. We're gonna do a little stairway up like this. So we're gonna put, ready? We're gonna put one block here, placeholder, drop that out, okay? One block here, placeholder. We can placeholder anywhere, but right, right here, one up, okay? Now the placeholder, block up, placeholder and a block up, and then right here, one more, take it out. Perfect. So a little box right there, a little uh, sexy little roof action. So let's do that. Placeholder block, take it out. Placeholder block, take it out. Placeholder block, take that out. And then we'll do it again. So come up to the top and then we take those out. Perfect. Now, all we want to do now is fill in everything here with our brick. Uh, not brick. What, what is this? This is stone. Okay, just put stone all the way to the top and then we'll pop out the windows in a second. Do it all the way around, right here. Keep going. Leave a space for a door. So I'm gonna go right here and right there. Leave that space over for the door, right there. So just keep going, I'll show you. And, and yes, it's a piece of a spruce there. I'll show you what we're using that for. So for now, this is how I did it at the beginning. And then we pop out the windows as we go along. It's super simple. Uh, and then you don't have to pop it out exactly where I popped it out. This is just for inspiration, really. You can have it, your windows anywhere. Uh, use this as a template if you want, and then branch out and make your own if you want. Or build it exactly like this, I don't know. Whatever you want to, whatever makes you feel good. Um, so there you go. And this nice little box, okay? Super easy, super simple. Now, this is gonna be awesome. Now, right here in the front door, let's grab some spruce. We're gonna go up with spruce right here. One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. And over here, we're gonna grab a spruce stair and do a little upside down right about there. Perfect. Okay. And then grab some trap doors. We're gonna put trap doors here. Oh, trap doors here. 
And just to add a little bit more detail, we're gonna put another set of trap doors right there. And then we got a little doorway right there. Let's just let's pop it out a little bit, just to give it a little something else to look at, okay? Now, let's, dr let's drop some uh, a little bit of window, right? Why not? Let me grab a little window over here too. Let me grab uh, this window right here, oh, it's so pretty. I'm using regular glass paints, but you can use any anything you want. So for right here, this one, what was it, a two? Yeah, we did a two. <laughs> so right here, we did a two, right here, bam. And on top of this too, what I did was, we, for detail's sake, watch this. We're gonna drop some trap doors here, drop another set of trap doors up here, drop one down here, and then I'm gonna take away these two. And you see it has that little, almost like that little awning effect, so you can really look like it's like a shutter, and it just shuts down like that. Super cool. Now, on this one, I, I did a three. Uh, so actually, what, what, I, what I do uh, uh, right there? Okay, I went a little higher because I wanted to put like a little AC unit, and I'll show you how we did the AC. AC is super simple. Uh, so right here, uh, also do the little awning effect. So we got that right there, and then drop. Oh, wrong way. Hold on. I'm gonna go underneath and go from there, and then take away that one. Perfect. Look at that. That's super simple. Now jump on this act. I'm gonna do the AC in a little bit. Watch this. So right here, I did a, a two and a two. So one, two. And then over here, I did a, a one and a two. Super simple. I didn't want to put a, a glass or a mirror or a glass. It's a glass. A glass in the middle here because we got a, a wall divider on the inside. So that's why I didn't put one in that corner. I could have put like a little one in the middle, but I was like, no. Would have got a wall divider there. It would have made sense. And then again, do your little drop, drop. Do a little drop, drop right there. Plop these two on the top. Right there. Right there. And right there. Okay. Great, great, great. That's beautiful. Now get rid of those. Perfect. Now. For this back side here, I wanted to put a, a big old garbage dumpster, so I moved the, the, the window a little bit to the right, so you'll see why. So we're gonna drop here, boom, boom, right here on the side. Then let's drop that in here, 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 and then we do the same thing. So we're gonna bam, bam, and then, oh, you place wrong, right there. And then drop these two on top, hello. There we go, get rid of that, and get rid of these. Now for this dumpster, it's super easy. Uh, just grab a dark oak, and then we're gonna get rid of that glass for a second. And then we're gonna do right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that, really simple. And then grab that trap door again. And then we're gonna just go around the side. Actually, you know what, even easier. Watch this, spruce, do how about, spruce door, okay? Cause it's actually uh, really cool, I like this, watch this. So put a spruce door there. Just never open it though, cause it's gonna be weird. Uh, <laughs> and we got another spruce door there. We got one here and here. And then in the front, you could drop in maybe some trap door, like so. I kind of like that, like that, but you know what, just, let's, I kind of like that, okay. And then let's get some spruce slab, uh, and then we're gonna drop spruce slab here, and we're gonna drop trap door there. And that looks so cool. I love that. I love that. I don't. I don't. Th I think I put trap door all the way to the top, but I think it looks good like that. Yeah, I put it all the way to the top, but I kind of like, uh, actually, wait, let's put dark oak up here. Dark oak up top like this right there and we can seal it up like I did on that one that's fine so we have a little trash thing here but I kind of like showing that little piece like that that's kind of cool there it is I, I like that right there so that's your trash <laughs> the big old trash can right there cool okay now let's work on some more details now for the roof uh, I'm gonna do it very plain at first and then we're gonna we're gonna cut it up to make it look like this just to make it easy for you to understand how I did it uh, so right here let's pop this out I'm gonna take a straight line going this way and then yes I'm gonna add that little pop out here but to make it really simple to, so you can see how I did the roof uh, I'm gonna do it like this so it's just easy so let's go all the way down we're gonna do a very simple roof very simple just going straight up and then I'll show you where we pop in our extra details on a little pop out piece on the top everything's gonna look nice I promise uh, so we're gonna work on a simple roof pattern going straight up just like so and it, it trust me it's a lot easier when you do it like this and then let's do it again on this side so we're gonna always pop it out by one extra on this side like so, and then we're gonna come on down again, Ooh. like this, and then we're gonna we're gonna make this roof interesting. I don't think I've ever done a roof exactly like this for an Asian-inspired uh, house, so this is pretty cool. And it doesn't have to be a market; it could be anything. You can use it for anything. You can use it as a starter house. You can use it as anything else. Uh, put a uh, I don't know, put a chicken farm inside. I don't know, uh, but it looks really cool uh, if you want to uh, build your own little Asian-inspired uh, location. So it's really cool. Uh, so right here, upside down stairs, and then we're gonna do upside down stairs all the way down this way, upside down stairs all the way down this way. Uh, on the top, let's. 
let's just put for now uh, let's just put a slab let's just run a slab for now uh going like this just so you can see very plain if you want to keep it plain like this go ahead uh but uh, this is uh, it's gonna get better watch so we're gonna put upside down uh, stairs again on this side and then upside down stairs again on this side perfect look at that okay so super simple super easy just like that now Let's work on the first bit of detail. We're gonna do this little pop out uh, little section over here. Now for this one is super simple. Let's just grab some cobble wall and let's grab that little birch right there. Oh, God forbid. Uh, now we're gonna put a cobble wall here and here. We're gonna put a birch here and here. We're gonna put another cobble wall here and here. And then we're gonna start putting some stuff. So for this one, I'm gonna put a, um, a, a stair just like that here a stair just like that here and then we're gonna connect these two up with some of the slabs so again what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna put a slab up top slab up top I'm gonna run another line going like this and then here I'm gonna do another stair going like that and another stair going like this and then we're gonna connect right there just like that just like that now here I'm gonna put a slab and I'm gonna put a slab just to give it a little bit more detail, and that's all there is to that right there. Now, let's do uh, some more detail work, and let's actually uh, start popping some stuff out. So, for this middle section, um, it's really simple, but first, if you wanna have this here, this little mark section, we're just gonna drop this right here, so it's a little space of two from here, so one, two, there, boom. Space of two, and then one, two here. Perfect. On the inside to block that off, uh, so you, you don't have to see the other end, uh, we can just put some upside downs going just straight down like this. Just like this for now. And it's good to have that little base. Uh, and don't worry about the inside for now. Okay, now, so we have that. So we have this and you can't see the back. Perfect. Now, for this one, I grabbed some white. Uh, let's grab some white uh, concrete. Uh, and I just did one row up, two rows up. That's it. Just that. That's all there is to it. But actually, I went, I did it one higher. So let's pop this out because then it's, it's a little bit because you don't have all this stuff in the way uh, and you can do it like this. Uh, actually, you know what I actually did? I think I did this first. I did this first, but then it took away from that build right here, the extra little pop out. So what we, I, you watch this. You can actually extend this out by one and then chisel this down and then lift it up like that so it kind of holds it out like that and that's a little cooler i think i think that looks a little cooler plus doing this you can actually now grab your trap doors and make it like a legit sign so it goes all the way around like that that is super awesome and then you can write whatever you want on that let's just leave it like that for now so that's super cool right isn't that awesome i love that look at that okay now this is what we're going to start doing we're going to start popping this in place so if you see this this is a one two three four five it's a five by one two three four five six seven so from seven so we're gonna go three from here so right in there so one two three and then we're gonna start popping it right there so this is a one two three four five six seven if you see there's only three left from this side and three left from that side so now we're gonna start cutting this up so let's cut from here so we're gonna go this way we're gonna go one two three four and a five and then we're gonna do the same thing here so this is a one two three four five six seven perfect and then cut this trim this out and then we'll come again this way perfect now let's just take this little piece off and it's so much easier when you build it regular and then you know exactly where to cut it up from so that's perfect so we have that right there look how cool is it okay from here now we're gonna go up so this one we're just gonna go up from this corner let's go up by one this is okay it's technically one already one two three four four okay so from here one two three four actually this is a five <laughs> there's a five okay same thing we did on the other side so technically five on all the sides and then from here same thing we did last time we're gonna cross beam from here not really a beam but whatever we're gonna cross from here and then on this one, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other one so placeholder block put a block on top placeholder block on top placeholder block on top bam like that we're gonna do it again so boom boom just do it like this, make it easier on our lives. Boom, 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 perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. We're gonna lift this up. So we're gonna lift it up like this, just like that with the stone all the way till we get to the top, like that. And then we're gonna do it again on this side. Super easy. And then we're gonna do it again on all the other side. So let's just fill this in real fast together. I misplaced, that's fine. And then we got that. And then we have this one. Perfect, done, 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 look at pretty. 
Now, we're gonna add uh, windows, of course. So we're gonna pop one out right about there. Is that the spot? That is the spot. Bam, perfect. Look, drop that in there. We're gonna put another one on this side. Bam, oh, okay. And then on this side, we're gonna do two. We're gonna put one here and here, drop those two. And on this side, because the sign's in the way, we're gonna just drop one right there. Don't put on one on the other side. You don't want anybody to look at that ugly thing. Now, we're gonna do the uh, the roof again on this one. Let's do a plane. And at the end, I'm gonna. it's easier. I'm gonna show you how I actually molded it to look like that. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's really simple, uh, you'll see, I promise. If, if it's not simple, you tell me in the comments section. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going like this. We're gonna come on this side, do it again. Let's go like that. I misclick so much. Let's go. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna do a little pop out overhang on this side, and then we're gonna keep going this direction it till we get to there. A uh, little upside down stair, and your upside down stairs on both sides like that. Come around with me again. Bam, bam. Upside down everywhere. Perfect. Now over here for now, just do a little slab row, just like so. Perfect. Okay, now. We're gonna do some sexy stuff. Before we do that, let's finish this little piece off. So all I did here was drop a couple of those little uh, ladders and do a single one like that going out. So boom, these don't need the doubles, only for the big window. So like that, that, let's go around this side, finish these little bits off. So bam, 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 and then drop your trap doors on top, little shutters. Again, one more, and we're pretty much done with all the details on that. Drop that ladder on the floor. Okay, now before we keep going. I really want to show you this thing. Actually, I need that ladder back. Uh, <laughs> let's do these little detail uh, pieces here. So now here, this is just a hopper. So for this air conditioner, just drop that in there. Go like that. Let's do a two in. Uh, let's drop our, don't, you have to shift, click it. Bam, bam. Do our iron trap doors on both sides. And that's a little air conditioner. Look how cool, isn't that cool? Okay, now this is pretty cool. We, uh, they, we never do the details up front. So we did some details up front. I like it. Now drop that, get rid of that. Okay, now let's do this roof. So for this roof, we're gonna need, uh, I'm, I'm flipping everything the wrong way. There we go. We need slab and we need the stairs. So now let's do this. This is super simple, watch this. All I did for this little section right here, watch this, this corner right here to make that effect is super easy. Uh, I did, I double slabbed it right here. Okay, all right, you see that? Then all I did was come up here and double slab it again. That's it, that is it. That is all there is to it. Take this out, double slab, do a double slab like that. You could have done a full block on the other one, but I just, I, I, I have the slabs on me already. So that's all there is. Isn't that super simple? So come with me. I'm gonna go right here, double slab, and then go up, slab here, slab here. That's it, do it again. Double slab, slab here, slab there. And that is your little curved roof at the end. Let's do it again on this side. Double slab, slab here and here. That's it. That is all there is. That's so easy to do. That's super simple. So just on the tips, uh, we go in like that, and then we do another one on this side, bam, bam. And that's all there is to those little tips. Now, uh, to give it even more details, cause you could leave it like that, but why? Why would you wanna do that? This little front middle piece right there just gives it a little bit more to look at. So we got upside down stairs in the middle right here. So this is what we do. Right here in the center, find the center point, which is there. Take that piece out, take these three out. We're gonna do upside down stairs on both. And then we're gonna put a slab here and a slab there. So we're gonna repeat this by doing this here. Watch, we're gonna do on this side right here, we're gonna do double, double and then right here one two triple just like that and if you notice right here actually this is oh actually well no it wasn't a double actually it looks pretty good as a double but no to give it just a little curve because it's a small roof what i did was i just turned these guys into that there it is okay that's it so get rid of that i'm gonna do a double right there two slabs and then curve these into it like so Perfect, look at that. And now right here on the top, I'm gonna put an extra slab and an extra slab right there. And then right at the edge here, we're gonna curve that into that, curve that into that. And then right at the very, very top, we added one more piece of detail. We put one more slab right here just to give it a little bit more lift to that. Look how cool, isn't that nice? And now for this super easy, what I did here, I took these little pieces off, I curved it, and then I put a slab on top. There it is, that's all we gotta do. So take that little piece out, put that little stair, put the little slab on top, and that's it. So let's do it one more time on this side real fast as you can see it. Take this out, take that, take that. Upside down stairs on both, double that. Take that out, put a double in there, put a little double in here, put one more on top, right there. One more on top, there we go. And then we're gonna curve those stairs into that. Look how easy, boom, boom, that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, we could do it again here. So let's do that right here. Take the middle piece out, take those out, upside down stairs on both, slab, slab, and then double that right there. Actually, look at that, how cool. We're actually gonna triple that. Boom, right there, and curve it. 
Perfect. That's it. That's all there is to it. So we can do this part here again, too. We got that stair and slam. That's it. Let's go one more time on this side. We got a stair and we got a slam. Look at it. Oh, baby. Now, in the middle here, you really can't see much uh, because the center point is right about here. So this is going to look a little, a little weird, but it doesn't look too bad. We got that double. We got this triple. We can put this in here with the stair there. We can do that one, but it's fine. And then we can put an upside down stair here and an upside down stair right there. You can see from the bottom that it belongs to it, but you don't really even need that part. You don't really need it, but that's it. That looks it. That looks, that's so cool. Uh, we finished. It is so simple. Let's take a quick little spin. And all that is, is a nice little Asian style market. Look at that. Isn't that cool? What do you guys think of it? Now, another little thing we could do uh, to add even more details to it. I did these custom little lamps right here. This is so cool. In Germs Pack, these lanterns are technically end rods, so they were converted. And if you can see, it's not really a hard design to do. All you got to do is drop a, uh, a cobble wall. Got some birch going up by one, two, and a three. Uh, over here, another cobble wall. Here we got some uh, a spruce slab right on the top. A trap door here, trap door here, actually right on this line. Grab a little iron, and then for this iron, we're gonna go all the way down, and then right here, we're gonna drop a the, the lanterns on both sides. So that's what you that's super easy. Look how easy that is. Now the next time you do this you just say you know sasha told me how to make a beautiful lamp and there it is but let me show you a little bit what we have interior wise so i did interior i finally did interior i didn't do it on this beautiful building but i did interior right here uh, and i will show you uh, how we did it now these are note blocks you can place those anywhere they look really cool like crates a uh, little seat right there but this is some inspiration you guys can do when you're in the interior of uh, of this market. And it's pretty cool. I have it almost like a pawn shop kind of, but watch this. So you come in here. I did a separation right here. So technically, this is just a one, two, three, four. And we got a wall right here. Uh, and if you notice here, we got a little shelving unit. So this is for your regular stuff. And then over here, this is for the expensive stuff. Uh, so the worker would be back here. We got a little gate right here, too. So you could close it in case, you know, he doesn't want to get robbed with all the valuables. Like, this is your basic you know, whatever things. And this is like the really valuable stuff. So for the valuables, we got a bunch of stuff in here. We got swords, we got fishing rods, we got a bunch of little things here. Uh, there's the air conditioning blowing some nice cold broken air because that's broken. It's been broken for six months. Uh, and then we have this little area. I like that. Uh, and then the, to the, this, this little uh, banners can go down if he wants to just have a little more privacy in here. So super nice. And now up here, a little living quarter kind of thing. Uh, so it has uh, a bunk bed right here in the corner, a little ladder to get up, a uh, nice little plant, some stores right there. And we got a little chest. But look at that. Isn't this cool? It's very quaint. I love this little area you can really see this being in some little asian market or something like that uh in some little asian town somewhere in the world oh hi but that's it that's all we got <laughs> what do you guys think super sweet super easy uh I, I, man i want to do some more asian inspired stuff but uh we're, we're gonna travel the world with these bills we're gonna have a couple things lined up uh we're gonna go around the world with sausage it's gonna be nice and we might even redo this village right here look how perfect it's right across from here what if we do this into a whole asian village i don't know let me know in the comment section if we do redo this village do an upgrade what style should we do should we do the asian style since it's right in front make this whole like a little asian village i don't know i think that might be pretty cool i don't let me know guys let me know if you got any other ideas of other bills you want me to try out too in the upcoming episodes i might sneak one in there uh but hopefully you enjoyed this one and i will catch you very very soon on the next episode of building with sauces see you guys later take this with you take i forgot how to throw things okay whatever T take bye